Chris, we've asked viewers to write in with specific questions that they'd love to run by a psychologist, so I'm going to throw a few at you. Is it ever okay to walk away completely from family members? I keep persisting and getting let down by them all the time. Well, one thing first of all is we generally think it's good to keep contact with family for our sense of identity and history and connection, but there are times when people are best to keep away. And that's mainly if a family is abusive, so the person really feels undermined, then we think sometimes it's best for people to keep away, sometimes totally, but other times having very limited contact around Christmas or whatever, but keeping it contained. So if this person constantly gets a feeling that they're being let down every time they were around them, that's a pretty good sign that they should back off? It is a sign for their health and well-being. Mm. They might be better with such strong limits that might include having no contact at all. Chris, a viewer has written in to ask you, my anxiety is so bad I can hardly get the kids to school. Can you suggest anything that will help? I think one thing at first is try to take the pressure off a bit. It's worth having a go rather than giving up in a sense, but at first the person might need help to get there, like it might be a partner also helps get them there in the first place and then gradually they take that up themselves. It's kind of like taking the pressure off but look to take baby steps in the right direction. My child gets angry when I try to stop them playing Fortnite. What do you suggest here? One thing is to look to limit the time. And that might be for every, say, half an hour that someone might play the game, have at least half an hour off. And look to contain that screen time. Generally, for example, for children over five years of age, no more than two hours of screen time a day. Set some limits, otherwise the problem tends to get worse. Mm. And if they get angry, take it away? Yeah, I think so. Just matter of fact, that's it. Just set the limit. Take the emotion out of it. Just business-like, time's up. Mm. Another viewer question. Chris, my husband and I are in such a bad state that I'm not sure that marriage counselling will work. Do you think there's still hope? I think there's always still hope. And sometimes people are stuck in such negative patterns, they might feel that nothing can change. But sometimes the negative patterns are so obvious when they come and see a therapist that there's a real start people can make straight away, such as cut back some of those critical comments. We're best off having about five positive messages to one negative message. Mm. Many people have got that almost the other way around. First of all, look to cut back on those negative messages. They're a killer for a relationship. That's so good. Five positives to one negative. That takes a lot of thought. It does. It does take some thought and effort. It's about being kind to each other.